It stands for midterms. Right. I just love this. Our band came and they left and we locked the door. <laughs> I got calls, so we brought uh, the horn section. But it was great to see you. If anyone wants proof that. And we're going to be talking to the crowd all morning long and you as well. Uh, and we, we don't even have to ask them. We know, according to the. Because I want to come into the audience and find out how many of y'all have already voted. I've heard from some people who say, I always go on Tuesday. And that's what most a lot of Republicans do, more so than the Democrats. How many on this side have already voted? Your issues. Where are you? Tell us your name, where you're from, and what what is your top issue? Uh, my name is Ugana. Fox and Friends Live Studio audience. Well, the battle for control of the Senate coming down to a handful of key races now neck and neck, heading into tomorrow election day. And joining us now, we're so honored. Special report anchor Brett Baer and Fox News. Tonight. Yeah. It will be fun. It All will right. be fun. Right. Tune in. We okay, we will. Taking the band with us. <laughs> As a, a demand. Yes, you want the marching band. We to can stay get the band. Okay. <laughs> Britt Hume might have a problem with it. Right. <laughs> yeah. But Britt says <laughs> still goes. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you getting up with us. All right, uh, the, meanwhile, the president made his stance on coal crystal clear. Listen to the most closely watched races for governor. Join us right now, outnumbered co hosts Kaylee McEnany and Emily Combine. <laughs> Uh, three hours <laughs> and 40 minutes. All right, All right. it's going to be exciting. 48 hours. 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, the audience now realizes that as soon as we start talking, they turn to the big door to see who's next. Let's go ahead and turn around. Well, this time.